The process of 3D printing, um, it is very cool and it is, uh, it's the opposite of what traditional manufacturing is, which usually grabs a piece of material and carves it away. Um, 3D printing is the opposite. It actually lays down material and kind of grows your object uh, to what you need. So um, it allows very uh, complicated objects to be done in a very simple way. It's kind of like a sophisticated hot glue gun, and it basically moves uh, a nozzle in the X and Y coordinates in a 2D plane, and then it moves up into the Z, and it makes another layer on top of that. And it just keeps stacking it up, kind of like uh, stacking a bunch of pancakes. The way the material comes out is basically like a hot glue gun, where the filament comes in through one end um, and gets melted right at the tip, and it squirts out a little tiny hole, and it lays down the material that way. And then there's special software that create, gets a 3D model um, that you choose or you design and it creates the the right pattern for it to build it. You could download files or 3D print them um, or you could create them or uh, scan things uh, to create the objects you want and then you could 3D print them with our machines. Um, and It's all kind of open source so there's a community out there um, and you're not locked down to a specific program or product. The open source is kind of a collaboration of you know, the world community. In our case, we design machines and we put it out there for other people to uh, Im either improve or manipulate or you know, build on their own. Um, but we also supply kits, uh, so it's a lot easier for everybody. But at the same time, if something happens or if they want to upgrade it, it's a lot easier because you know exactly how the machine works. We have a few different models. Our main one is just called the Bukito. It runs $899 as a kit, um, and it's a pretty simple kit. Uh, we kind of pre-assembled some of it already. Our machine is very robust. Uh, we made it to be more of a classroom environment or be carried around uh, very easily without it uh, you know, getting out of calibration. Our printers, you could actually uh, print upside down with them. Teachers would be very interested in this uh, technology. Uh, number one, we sell them as kits. So you could actually have the students build them and assemble them and uh, get the gratification of building a 3D printer. Um, and then once it's built, um, they could start making robot parts, uh, educational models of uh, math problems or scientific uh, uh, models of like molecules and things like that. Um, it's a really excellent tool to, to get kids interactive in uh, designing and learning uh, you know, objects and the way things are constructed or put together.